everyone, it's Robin, and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday, our favorite day of the week. I found some really cool things this week, so I'm excited to share with you my haul. But I'm also excited because I'm going to be joined by a friend of mine. Her name is Carol from My Blessed Nest. She is going to share a thrift haul today as well over on her channel, so we're kind of collabing today, which I think is super fun. So, if you have not been over to Carol's channel, um, I will make sure to link her channel down below and she is going to have some amazing things to share with you today as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing I found today was a vintage sheep. It has been a while since I found any that I needed to, you know, like I was really drawn to and I wanted to buy. This one screams summertime to me. I don't know why, but you could probably get away with it for maybe Halloween or you know early fall as well it was $2.99 and it is a double sized sheet and it looks like this isn't this gorgeous I don't know what it, I think it's a yellow that I'm being drawn to um, I used to have you know stayed away from anything orange but lately I kind of been liking the orange and I really like it with the yellow I think that is so so pretty so I am excited to have found this and only $2.99 so I don't know why this was marked down so much because most of the other sheets are much more expensive than that so I don't know I think maybe they didn't think anyone would like the pattern <laughs> I don't know but I was happy to find it at such a good price and it's a double size so I can make a lot of things out of it. I don't know if I'm going to make it into a quilt. I was thinking it would actually look really pretty as a skirt. I don't know why, but to me, a summertime skirt that just screams, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. But I was super excited to find that. And speaking of sewing, I found a pattern. <laughs> I always, I've been looking through the patterns lately. This one's not a vintage pattern, pattern sadly, but it does have a top that I think would be really cute. So it was $1.19 and it looks like this. I think the top is really super duper adorable. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up for $1.19. It actually came with another pattern staple to it, which I think is so adorable. I am very much past the baby stage, but look at this little like doll blanket thing. Isn't that so cute? I think that would be fun to make if I ever have to do like a um, baby shower gift or something like that. It would be really fun. I normally do, you know, like a little baby quilt or something, but I don't know. Maybe this would be a fun thing to try instead. So I don't know. I came with it, so maybe I'll use it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But for $1.19, I thought that was a pretty good idea or a pretty good deal for both of those patterns. The also along the lines of sewing, I found a little goodie bag filled with white buttons and I couldn't resist it. It was $1.59 and they are filled with some cute little buttons. Not that I really need any more buttons, but I like that they were all white and I will add those to my collection. So I haven't even opened it yet, but there's a good amount in here. So I'm loving those. Today was a day for goodie bags. I have three of them, four of them. The next one I found was for $2.39. And this one has got a miscellaneous kind of stuff in it. I bought it for one thing in it and one thing only, but it had some other fun stuff in it. Um, the first thing being ah, some pencils. Can't go wrong with some pencils. So that will be nice. These are actually kind of fun ones. American Red Cross, kind of looks like different ones, so that's kind of fun. And then, what is this? I don't even know what this is. It looks like, oh, it's just a little paint set for little kids, I think. I'll probably redonate that back into, <laughs> I don't have any need for that. Uh, my kids are past that. But the one thing that I bought it for was this really cool looking stapler. I love vintage staplers, and I don't have one like this. I think it is so cool looking. Um, it has very, well, 
regular size staples, I think. Let's see what it says on it. It is, it just says pageant. Here we go. Arrow Fastening Company Incorporated, made in the USA, Brooklyn, New York. So yeah, I just thought it was super cool, and so I will add it to my collection of vintage staplers, which I love so much. So that was cool, I thought anyways. <laughs> All right, so then this next goodie bag is full of Valentine's type of things. It was $2.39. Um, it has a few things in it that I probably won't use, but the first thing was a little package of heart stickers. I'm sure the girls will love those. Then there was this little booklet of Valentine type of um, scrapbook paper. And what was, what is this? I don't know. Six inch, six inch, six inch squares. And then there's this little book that looks like somebody put together, which is super adorable. And inside it just has cute little pages sort of like this in it. Which is adorable. I think it's supposed to be meant as like a journal because you got the decorated side and then the undecorated side. So I thought that was pretty cute. I'll probably throw that somewhere into the mix for my Valentine decor. But the neck, oh, and then there are some little hearts. Probably like little heart tags. There we go. And then this I thought was super cool. I, there's this little bag filled with um, different little Valentines, which I thought was so adorable. Um, let's see. I think they're reproduction ones, but they are made to look vintage. Look at this cute little bluebird one. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then, oh, there's a cute little deer one. How adorable. There's two of those. And then there's this one with this little girl and her little puppy. How adorable. This one's cute too. There we go, focus, all right. Oh my gosh, there's two of these. Um, more little sweet little, little birds. Oh my gosh, I just love bluebirds. I think they're so cute. So I love those, there's two of those. There's just a little, yeah, I think this is probably like a die cut set or something that somebody cut apart. There's this one. And then there's like a little journaling card. Focus, there we go. Lots of cutesy little things to do Valentine things with. There's another little one, that one's really pretty. And then there is these little, do you remember these from back in the day? Um, they're the little cards that go in your books from the library and they would stamp in them. Well, someone has put a little design at the top and then added these little stickers, which is so cute. A lot of them are repeats of the Valentines um, that I just showed you, but then some of them have other things on them. So I don't know. I just thought these were super adorable. Oh, this one's got a little strawberry and a little raspberry on it. How cute is that? So I don't know. I thought those were really super duper cute. So, of course, I had to pick those up. <laughs> and I will definitely be adding them into my Hall or not Halloween, my Valentine decor, which I'm hoping to get up this week sometime. I haven't really dug it out or anything yet, but I've got some stuff that I have to put in it now. <laughs> All right, so then I thought this next item was really cool. I believe it's a tarp tin, but it's in a rectangle shape. It was $1.60. I picked it up for $1.60, and it looks like this. Isn't that cool? I just love it. It's got the cute little scallop on it. I've always ever seen, you know, little tar tiny tarp tins and circle ones, so I thought this was really fun. So now I, of course, feel like I need to make a tart. I've never made a tart in my life, but now that I have got a really cool tart pan, I think I should make a tart. <laughs> so I thought that was fun. 
Um, I may use it for like decorating with, I'm not really sure, but I will definitely be trying out a tart. So if any of you have a tart recipe that you absolutely love, I would love for you to send it to me because I want to try it so badly. <laughs> All right, so then that leads me to my very last goodie bag of the day, and this is so adorable. It is two sets of salt and pepper shakers, and they were $2.39 each. And, oh my gosh, you guys, wait until you can see these salt and pepper shakers. They're so adorable. The first set is this cute little pink bowl set. Oh, I'll show you individually. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. He's just so adorable. He's got a cute little tail. Look at him. Oh my gosh. He's adorable. And then the mate to this was actually broken in the bag, but I've since glued it back together and hopefully it'll stay together. But if it doesn't, I still have the other one. I knew it was broken when I bought it and I was, I thought it was worth, you know, seeing if I could fix it. So, cause it is just so cute. It looks like this. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. He is just adorable. So I have these little guys. You guys know I like cows. And these little pink little bulls, I just think they're so adorable. So, those guys were cute. There was also a set of dog salt and pepper shakers. And I remember somebody, I can't remember who, but somebody that I watched hauled a set of these not too long ago. And they're just so adorable. They look like this. Hopefully they will come into focus there for you. So we've got the brown one. Look at him, he's just so, he's like a little wiener dog. There we go, look at his little sweet little face. He's adorable. Um, this one has the original cork on the bottom of it. And then there is the black and white version of it. Look at him, he's too cute too. Look at him, he's just so adorable. Um, this one doesn't have the cork, but it's got a bit of a sticker on it. So let's see if I can read it. Oh, it just says made in Japan. Hopefully, maybe I can get you to see it. There you go. A little made in Japan. So I just thought these guys were super cute. I do like to collect dog figurines. And I think this is my first set of dog salt and pepper shakers. And I just think they're so cute. So I love Scotty dogs, I like terriers, and I love wiener dogs. So, or, what are they actually called? The name is escaping me now. I don't know, but I just love them. I think they're so adorable. So these guys were super, they fit right into, you know, the type of dog that I like to collect. So, <laughs> I just thought that was so adorable. All right, so that is my lovely haul for this week. I love that most of the items were vintage, and I just love those salt and pepper shakers and that vintage sheet. I'm so excited about those. And of course, the tart tin. I'm excited to make a tart. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I would love to know which of these items was your favorite that I picked up this week. Or, let me know what you found when you went out thrifting in your neck of the woods. I'd love to know what you guys find and what you're looking for. I think that is such a fun aspect of Thrift Start Thursdays. So, leave me a comment down below. Make sure that you go over and check out Carol's channel now. I will have a link in the description box. Go say hello to her, see what she's found this week. I'm sure she has found some amazing things to share with you guys as well. And of course, if you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up. And I will see you guys again next week for another Thrift Store Thursday. Bye now.